I have a couple of 530 sprockets that I am going to take the center out of. I want to use the center as a flange to mount the inboard disc brakes. And the sprockets are a good source of big flat 10 millimeter thick steel. I'm going to tree pan the sprocket to get the piece of steel that I want. I could just cut it with a hacksaw, I suppose, but tree panning will give it a, uh, a good cut in one go. This is the first time I've done tree panning, though, so this is probably famous last words. I expect it to howl and yell and grumble and protest. And of course, I'm using the back gears because I'm cutting quite a large diameter here. The high speed steel tool has had to be cut to a particular shape. Also, there's a tremendous amount of run out in the sprocket and the more I push on it with the tool, uh, the more run out I'm going to get. So I'll proceed gently and then clean everything up later. Right, will it be tears before bedtime? I just didn't have enough rigidity with the three jaw set up. Trying to grip it through the bore hole there was fairly optimistic. The four jaws have now got it in, it in their grip. Unfortunately, there isn't enough rigidity in the whole system, so I'm getting a lot of chatter and I'm having to move very slowly and cautiously. But we will see. Nibble, 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 we'll get through it. Voila!